Today we're going to be making sauerkraut. So to make a basic sauerkraut, all you need is cabbage and salt, and 2% of salt by your cabbage's weight. I'm going to clean up these cabbage, the, the cabbage, and then I'm going to shred it, and then I'll show you how to calculate 2%. So we're going to start by turning our percent into a decimal, which you do that by dividing, um, divide 2 by 100, which gets us 0 0.02, um, and then we multiply 0 0.02 by our grams of cabbage. And we're going to round that to 20. We're going to do the same steps as the last one. And now we're going to round that down to 13. Alright, do you want to mix all the salt in really, really well in this part? Crush it up to help release some of the water. So I'm, we're going to let these sit for about an hour and while the salt pulls out the juices from the cabbage. 
and in a minute I'll show you some different ways to put ferment the cabbage. While those are sitting, I'm going to talk about some different things you can put into your sauerkraut. These, this is a batch of sauerkraut that we started a few days ago. This one is all just plain sauerkraut. This one has black peppercorns in it. And if you look closely, there's a whole bunch of bubbles in there, which means that um, the bacteria is doing its job. These are caraway seeds that you could put in there for, for some flavor. Uh, serrano pepper, because my dad and brother like some sp like spicy stuff. So we're going to put our cabbage into the jars and then pack it in. Now we're going to put some more cabbage in. So now we're going to put the serrano peppers in here to put in the next jar. And mix it in. These were small cabbages so they didn't quite fill these jars up. We're going to pour the juice into these jars. So now we're going to add in a teaspoon of caraway seeds. And now we're going to mix it in. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can ferment these. Our first option are these cheap silicone ones that you just set on the top, screw on a normal lid, and then it has a hole on the top to burp it during the fermentation process. And it also comes in a six pack for cheap. Um, our second option are these um, lids that also um, ferment, burp themselves during the fermentation process for six, about six dollars at Walmart and they also come with a spring to help keep the sauerkraut down at the bottom. It also comes with two lids and two springs. As you can see the spring is holding the sauerkraut under the water which is good during the fermentation process which prevents and this prevents mold from happening. Now our last option are these ones. They come in a three pack with a pump. They have a vent and a little thing where you can set the date so you know when they started. They're about $30. On this one, you just use the pump to get rid of the air and to prevent molding. Now that these are done, um, we and the fermentation process has started. Um, we've labeled them so then we know when we started. And we need to let them sit at room temperature for two weeks. One great thing about homemade sauerkraut is you can check it, you can make it whenever you need to. And you can check it at one week just if you like a week sauerkraut. You can check it at two weeks if you 
like sauerkraut like I do, or you can check it at three weeks if you like a strong sauerkraut or longer. One great thing about homemade sauerkraut is that it's probiotic and it's good for your guts.